What's up you guys, you're watching Surgery Secret and today I'm going to be doing what's in my life as being a YouTuber, as being a blogger here in Dallas. So there's a lot of things to get done. It's currently 4 in the morning. I usually try to get up super early to try to take advantage on the days where I typically don't have my regular job. I like to take full advantage. I like to, for it to be jam-packed with a lot of different things and that requires for me to always wake up early and to always make sure everything goes smoothly throughout the entire day and recently i have been going to bed a little bit earlier I wake up at six or seven but recently it's been around that five in the morning mark right now it's just like a little bit earlier i have a lot of things to get done um but i have some unboxings that i have so I got a new leather jacket, I got some stuff for my Rent the Runway subscription, and then I have some handbags that are in this box right now. Um, the box is sitting on top of the camera, but before I get started, all the links will be down below for everything that I show, um, all the locations that I go to, every all that good information will be down below. This will probably end up being like an hour vlog. So hope you guys like this. There's so much to get done, so much to do, but this is the life of a YouTuber, blogger, whatever you want to call me. I just call myself a person with a camera and keep it moving. And yeah, I just kind of put on a sweater and some shorts to kind of lounge around in because I'll probably be home for the next couple of hours. But I did get a package and I'm so excited to open it. It is two handbags. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna be keeping first, but I thought I would unbox it and I would wait for you guys to see the bolsas que compre. So I'm gonna tell you guys something real quick. I feel like my dog hates me now. So this is my dog here. His name is Spike. He's about to be 15 in like two weeks. And I had the, and I had him for many years, but I feel like he's so mad at me right now. I tried hugging him, I tried grabbing it, and he was not here for it. And last time I tried to cuddle with him, and he was not here for it. The last couple of times, unless there's foods involved, I feel like he feels some type of way because I left the house. Like I, I don't know if he feels like I betrayed him or something, but he has not been happy with me. So. I definitely have to take him to a car ride or definitely have to do some quality time with him, but he has been not a happy dog with me. My mom said he's been fine. Um, like says So these are the bags that I got. So I'm gonna tell you how I bought them, why I got them. So these bags are currently on uh, department store's website for full price for 500 And I just went on the Nordstrom Rack app where I got an ad for it on facebook and it said that these bags were 170 and like i said i could not believe that there were 170 i'll try to link, leave them linked down below rack website but they are available at the nordstrom website for 495 dollars so let's go ahead and unbox the bags oh my god <laughs> oh my god que preciosa i have already seen it in person in the department stores but this is the bag right here that I got. So like I said, I got them in two colors. I'm not sure which I'm going to be keeping. But yeah, the retail is um, $4.95. I will leave it linked down below. And yeah, so this is the bag. I'm going to quickly take this is the gist of the bag. So it has, so it is a bucket bag. It says Dumar Jacobs. It's black with the gold hardware. And it has this little pouch right here. So um, I saw like Sephora did like a little uh, Marc Jacobs bag like this and like a little gift set. And I thought that was so cute. And when I saw this one actually in a full handbag, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. And when I saw it at Orchard Mac for 170, I was like, well, I don't know what color I want, but I definitely want one. So it comes with this little pouch that says the Marc Jacobs. Um, it's super cute. I think I did luck out with this bag right here. So I'm not gonna take too much time to take off all the plastic. I can take it all off in a second. But what I also like is that you can close it up you can actually put this little charm here so you can have it here in the actual bucket bag or you can put it on the strap i think i prefer it here a little bit more and this is a lot more softer i was expecting this bag to be a little bit more um structured but i actually do like the slouchiness of it i don't have any bucket bags in my collection but i do like this black one but i think i will end up liking this color a little bit more just because i've been more into neutral colors yeah yeah i love this bag oh and then i'm also getting 
um, delivered a couple bags today. So I know on my a wish list video, I said that I was going to buy um, a Chanel handbag. And I think I don't want to do that anymore. I think right now I'm really appreciative of my 19. I went to last call last week and I bought three bags. I'm about to keep one of these and then I have two bags on the way. So that's six bags. And then if I were to buy my Chanel bag, I feel like that yeah, is so like is it my cosas? I should be enjoying everything that I have. So I have a feeling that I will oh this one has the white dust bag. This is the Marc Jacobs and the black one has a black one. I feel like I really want to enjoy all the bags that I have. So I have a feeling that I just may get something else out of my wish list. That's probably not a handbag. And I think I do want the long shot bag as well. So I'm not really sure. My Christmas list has definitely changed a little bit now. Now that all these unexpected kind of hand. Me gusta más esta, guys. Like, mira que bonita está esta. I prefer the color. I don't have... Well, the reason why I like this color is because the Marc Jacobs one, the tote bag. I prefer the green. I've been into green uh, bags a lot. I love it. It kind of gives me like that little Prada uh, vibes. Oh my god, I saw that the Prada bag, you're gonna see me talk a lot in this video. Oh my god, the Prada bag went up in price. It was like, it was, it was $7.25 and then it went from $7.75 and now it's $800. The multi pochette, like the crossbody one is now $1,400 and I paid $900 when I went to Europe earlier this year. But yeah, I love this one a lot. I'm gonna be doing some research and there has been a lot of fun Marc Jacobs handbag releases. So. I will be making a full video talking about Marc Jacobs, but oh my god, I want to show you to you. Oh my god, I think I, yeah, I think I'm gravitating to more towards the green. Like I said, I got it for 170 Yeah, like, my gusta the black one, but I'm kind of, you know, I will always love a good black bag, but I'm kind of over black bags. I have a lot of black bags in my collection, so I think I appreciate this color a little bit more. And I love the little red charm. I think red is such a seductive color, and I like how it pops out. So um, I'll probably end up wearing this bag on Friday. I have a doctor's appointment, so I think that's when lo voy a And then I have, um, I'm going out on Friday night, so I may bring this bag with me i don't know i feel like it's a little big but i'll see si, si me gusta mucho esta compared to the black one i prefer this one over that one but i would love to get your opinions on which one you prefer i yeah for me i think i like this one i'm gonna ask my mom um if she wants this but if any of you guys want this i actually don't mind shipping it out to you guys because it's a really great price i think i'd rather one of you guys have it before i return it back to merchant rock i just can't justify to keep both of them yeah, I'm gonna keep this one right here. And then let me show you what I got from Rent the Runway. The Runway, so I've had the Rent the Runway membership for about a month now. I'm on my second month. Basically, I'm just gonna run down through it real fast of why I like it. If you want me to make a video about how I buy clothes, how you do all that, definitely let me know in the bowl send. But I ended up getting a Rent the Runway membership last month when I moved into my apartment. And for me, I've just been seeing myself spend a lot of money on trendy clothes and on super seasonal clothes. And I don't like that. You know, when I moved out of my parents' house, I gave one of my close friends, when I kid, when I kid you not, well, like three of my close friends, upon bags, upon bags of brand new clothes with tags. We're talking about like Vince, Theory, Veronica Beard, even of all these different brands. And... It just hurt to see me just wear these items one time and I would just not get my money's wear. Now, this, my style has changed where if I buy something for myself that's not Rent the Runway, to make sure I get a lot of wear out of it. So this Anina being sweatshirt, uh, I've been getting a lot of wear on it. Here's a little blazer that I have here. Or like this blazer that I wore yesterday, this suit studio that I'm going to take to the dry cleaners. Like I personally for myself buy more clothes core item i like to have fun in the items that i buy from Rent the runway so um right now i'm still in the trial month i think this month was i got charged 150 but starting next month i will get charged 200 and basically every week i have four items that i get to try on if i like it and then i go into well you can ship it off or what i like is that at nordstrom you can go in you can scan the items and just drop it off there and the warehouse is in arlington texas minute drive 25 minute drive super quick so if i drop it off at nordstrom like in the morning the next day i will have the clothing so i like it works for me it works for my lifestyle um here's like it, and a lot of the items that i actually get 
have, haven't really been worn. They actually have the tags on it. So for this Rent the Runway, um, I decided to get this Veronica Beard blazer. Look how pretty this is. And I also got the matching trousers. And what I like is that, you know, everything still goes with my wardrobe and with things that I love. But it's just, but I just get to try it out. The matching trousers for them. I'll probably try it on once it's a little bit more sunlight. Right now, it's still a little bit dark outside, but I ended up getting this Veronica Beard set. I'll probably wear this tomorrow. Love Veronica Beard. Veronica Beard is one of my favorite brands. Uh, as far as clothing, I have like a lot of actual items that I have as collections, but I do like to try on these kind of fun pieces, nice contemporary pieces that I can wear again and again and again, and then you know I can wear them for the week and then send them back off. And so I got this blazer from Tote Me. Tote Me is a brand that I've always wanted to try out the brand, and now I have a blazer. And then I also got this. I got this Victoria Beckham Camely blazer. And I cannot wait to wear this as well. So as you can see, I got a lot of very Sergio pieces, a lot of things that I can get a lot of wear out of. So yes, I do have a Rent the Runway membership. And so far, so good. I have The last purchase that I'm going to be showing you today before I get the other bags that I ordered um, is this leather jacket. Favorite places to shop is Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, like Bloomingdale's, like stores like that that are department stores but that carry a little bit of both brands, like very high and very low. And this was part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale, this um, leather blazer, and I had it on my wish list on the Nordstrom app. And I got a notification that it went 60% off, so we, last night I went to the store and I wanted to see if they had any sizes. And they had a size 4, they had a size 8, and they had this size 12. And so I might fit, I'm pretty sure I'll be a 10. So I tried on the 8, it was super tight, like it fit good, but it was more of a fitted look. A contemporary piece and how I talked about how I don't like spending money on this, but no, the reason why I bought this one is because I will. I've been wanting a faux leather jacket for the longest. I've been seeing them like at Zara for like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars, and so when I saw this one for one seventy, um, I, I already had this in like I said on my Nordstrom wish list from like three, four months ago, and when I saw it go sixty percent off, I decided to buy it, and this is just like a faux leather, um, very kind of in. Uh, theory blaze like I said, I just didn't you know I went to Zara like two weeks ago, and I just I just don't like to buy things from Zara guys I if I'm gonna spend the money I want it to be from a theory events, you know That's just me. I just rather wait hold on wait until I find the perfect item And I'm glad that I waited out like I said I'm wearing a sweatshirt under it I would just wear like a bodysuit under this but I did get this one for 170 i highly recommend it i'll be getting so much wear on this the black blazers i love a good classic black blazer and i know that this is such a versatile piece that i will get so much wear like my a woody jeans and some of my other favorite black blazers so now i have a full leather blazer that i love the fit of this is impeccable so um if i don't end up wearing this i definitely want to try it on for you guys what i end up doing is i have to get ready for today's upload so today's gonna be a men's uh, gift card video 75% like done throughout the video so I'm gonna work on that and I'm gonna work on Saturday's video because I would I want to put this video all on front on Friday which is tomorrow so I'll probably end up working on today's video I will end up working on Saturday's video and by the time hopefully it will be like 7 30 ish and the Sun is out so I can edit in today's video and work on Saturday's video and just be super productive. Okay guys, it is currently 10.30. Um, I just got done running one errand. Right now, look at my Christmas tree. Right now I'm going to Las Cabanas and Marcus. I took a shower and I got ready. Um, so, oh, I need to show you my bag. So this is the bag that was on my wish list. It was the um, Toy Birch Eleanor. As you can see, look how gorgeous. Today is actually the first day that I'm going to use her out. I just took the tags off of it and it's the absolutamente preciosa. Like I said, I, I've been wanting this bag for the longest and I decided to wear it with a white bodysuit from h and that's $10. I'll be leave it linked down below. Some my classic black mother jeans and this Anina Bean Kaya blazer. But oh, I cannot wait to do it. I'm doing a full video on Tory Burch. And look at the leather. It's it's lined with leather on the inside. It is absolutely gorgeous. This is such a high quality, beautiful handbag. And I also got 
this little migra that has a strap on it i'll probably be wearing this one tomorrow with the veronica beard outfit from rent the runway they open at 11 to go to last call i'm gonna go there and i believe after that i'm gonna have lunch with my friends we may hang out for a little bit and then after that i have to come back here i have to take my uh chanel back to dino's i have to do like another couple errands and i have to clean up just because um, I do have like a lot of packages and stuff and a lot of boxes that I have to like fold and throw away and then I also have to get ready for my vlog sale and I also I think that's it maybe like I'm missing a couple others basically what I did um, I'm a little tired basically what I did all morning was just a bunch of admin stuff so I did my men's luxury gift guide people think YouTube videos are like super easy to do Yes, they're easy, but it's the back end, the tags on the video, all the links for the video, all that takes like a lot of time and editing the video. So I did that one. I did a Lululemon one um, video that I did from the Lululemon outlet that they just opened here in Dallas. So that one was to be going up. And then I edited a Nordstrom Rack video that I did on tips and tricks right when I lived at home. It's gonna be a little bit of older video, but the information in that video is super great. So I have all those videos ready, taken, ready to get uploaded. My men's luxury gift card will be uploaded today at noon. So I'm so excited. I love the bag so much, guys. You have no idea so let me go ahead and put all my stuff in here because i don't have anything in it and i have to get on the road to go to last call and then meet up my friends so um you'll be coming along with me to last call today i won't be actually doing a vlog there since it's a day in my life i just kind of want to take you with me maybe looking to see if there's some shoes anything from the row i'm not really sure what i'll find but i'll take you guys along with me i am here at last call um i like these face masks they're from target they're four dollars for two packs I like them a lot, so if I can find them, I'll leave them below. But they're just like the regular ones that when you walk into the store. But um, I'm here at last call. I'm gonna see what I can find from the shoe event that happened yesterday. Like I said, I had commitments, so I couldn't, wasn't able to come. So hopefully, I find some goodies today. Um, I'm looking for maybe like GG's Golden Gooses clothing from the row um so we'll see i like my outfit a lot i posted this on instagram so i always tell you guys to follow me on instagram and i've been getting so many compliments on this bag oh i love it so freaking much this is probably one of my favorite tory birch bags that i've had throughout the years this one and probably the walker are probably my faves but let me go ahead and go into last call and see um what goodies i could find yeah. i just want to see what shoes that they have real quick and see if i can find any goodies Dang, that sale last week where they did the extra 45 was a really good sell. So hopefully I could see and see if I could find anything. The shoe event that they have. They have a bunch of goodies here. Let's see what I can find in my size. So they have these Louboutins. Oh my god, these are 439. These are actually a really great price. They have, oh my god, these are fake guys, these are fake Versace, like these are fake, but they have replica Versace shoes here, I should probably tell one of the ladies that this is a replica, yeah. but they have these here. Yeah. It's a little picked over guys, I don't see anything that kind of interests my, myself. But I haven't looked at the miniatures yet. Those are 64. Like missing the Dior 585. We have another pair of common projects. Like, I already bought them here. Anything that sparks my interest, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh my god, guys, so I did find a Yeah, I love that one. I didn't know why I didn't even try that one on. 
I, I really like meat. So they have these in Queens here. Mm hmm, perfect. Like. <laughs> it's like that one TikTok is like, don't do it. And, and then they're like, they're like, I'm not gonna do it. And they're like, I did it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try the bottom. Mm -hmm. She said I got these for my mom during the summertime. She is in love with them. But si tienen, pero no tienen también. I feel about the McQueen stick. I really like them, but I don't know how I feel about the transparent bottom. <clears throat> um, three ten. These do you want Wait, think these are gonna be so nice. Uh huh. I do like them a lot, and they yes. come with the black. I know. Look at me. I'm like, do I need black shoes in that room? In beige, they definitely need more of a 40. These ones fit a little oh, big. Oh! Let me see. Oh, you're. Yeah. It's a few rows come in. I, I like these ones here. I think I'm gonna take these ones at Christmas. My brother's been asking me for like my thoughts on these, so I could just give them another, like I could give them this for Christmas. So I think that one's gonna be a uh, yeah. They do have a lot of great shoes. They have some Bones and Aga, some Jimmy Choo. And then tomorrow they're doing additional 40% off your purchase. So let me see, um, she said the clothing arrivals are going to be included, so let me see something, maybe potentially put it on hold. These ones are cute. Oh my god, they have so many others. Like, so much. Go on. So, I'm going to see some of the new arrivals. So they have some trousers, 542 Dior. They have these Dior skirts here, or pants. These are 945, some black, I mean some navy socks, some jeans, some skirts. But look at these like little short pants. These ones are 630. And then some classic black pants are 630. See what they have from the row, but they just got in a bunch of new clothes. Like they even have, I believe this is called the bar jacket. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong. It's still expensive. It's still 15. And then they have this really pretty Dior dress. And this one's $16.45. And all this clothes is new. Like, they didn't have this, like, last time that I was here. But like I said, I like coming here, like, at least once a week. Just to see what newness they have. I also like this jacket here. The quiltiness. This one's, um, two from $55. It's like a lot of fun Dior pieces. I like this one too, this little cardigan -y. This one's 805 from 203. And some more jackets, this little top, 595. Or button up, this one's 375 and it has a little CD from $1,500. One of my absolute favorite brands, but I only see like a few pieces. So they have the row leggings for 112. That's actually a phenomenal deal from 450. And they have the row little suede um, jacket, 922. And it retails four thousand dollars. And they have those same pants uh, for one twelve. And this is more of the scuba pant. They have these Tom Ford sequins. Oh my god, the row pants fourteen. Leather, absolutely stunning. Then they have this chocolate one for thirty seven. More items from the row. I do like this puffy Michael Kors collection jacket. Little pants. 
I also like this little leopard. So I'm not mad. This one's 17. And they have a lot of pretty coats too. This little Celine sweater is 450. Turtleneck. I have this Balmain jacket for 13. That's like tweed and it has some sick denim. And look at the button details on them. They have a Celine jacket. 16 from 65. But this is gorgeous. This little reversible Keaton moment. Siaga Hoon's tooth is 14. Off white. This older Balenciaga. Oh my god, this one from the row. It's 275. This is so pretty. I think I'm gonna try this one on. Max Mara sweater is one. Oh my god, that's a really great price. One. Um, 48.75. We chose for 600. I'm gonna try on this Max Mara sweater. Really pretty Nanushka jacket for 300. Look at the zipper. The color is impeccable. I'm gonna get this Max Mara coat. 5.51. So here's some of the items I'm gonna try on. This one is the Row Navy 275 little top. I love my outfit today. It's a very clean outfit. Here I'll give you a little outfit: a Nina Bean blazer, the H&M bodysuit, mother jeans, the Sam Edelman boots. Um, you can actually get 15% off your Sam Edelman purchase if you use I think code Sergio15 at the North Park store in Dallas. Just say. Um, that you want to use that coupon code and if you want to let's say buy these boots um, I think they're called the Daylin boot so you can also call the store and they can place an order for you for free shipping so you can get that 15% off and it's not an affiliate link so um, I'm just doing it um, just because I wanted to get a discount for you guys this Max Mara sweater it's 150 kind of like it it's super cute this row white button up and then these um, black row kind of scuba -y leggings so yeah let me go ahead and try on any of the items i think the one that i kind of like the most um i like this one this one's just a little pricey i think 435 is still a little pricey if this was maybe like 150 i mean go for it um but i like this one a lot it's blue it's navy i like it but i think it has additional 40 so it'd still be 14 10, 12 it will still be like 180-ish, maybe 170-ish. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. So on to the next one. It's the Max Mara sweater. I feel like it doesn't look super flattering. It kind of brings all my kind of problem areas or challenge areas. So this one's also going to be a no. I think the McQueen's are probably going to end up being the pick of today. Top from the row, I really like. Um, but I feel like it's yellowing a little bit, so I don't think, like, I feel like it's been with other clothing, so as much as I like this one a lot, I still think 435 is a little steep. Um, I did see a pair of Celine glasses that I liked for somebody off my Christmas list, so I think I may pick those up as well. And, um, yeah, let me try Things were no go. They were, like, a little too tight, and they were, like, super cropped, so I feel like it's a no. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back. Every time I buy something, I always fold them up, put them back. I used to work at Kohl's, and I remember when people used to trash stuff, so I would like to do my part and even like button up the buttons and everything. So these ones are gonna be in now today. These are the glasses that I have on my list for one of my friends. Go ahead and grab, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab those ones. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and see if they could unlock those for me. I think those are the only glass. Do they have like some new like oh my god these are brand new these just came out they're 182 and they just came out oh my god and i did try those on at the store so i think i'm gonna try these ones on oh my god this kate spade bag is new um they do have a lot of the bags but a lot of the bags are gone i know i got like i think 10 of you guys actually sent me dms telling me that you guys bought some of the bags here which i'm super happy for you guys from one of my friends um i will leave her instagram down below she actually got the same stud bag as me so we're actually matching and then she got her man a pair of 
I think Givenchy shoes for like 150 ish I want to say. They said that Marquise was back, but a lot of the bags are gone that I kind of pointed out from the video. But they have that one. I do. Oh my god, I love this card case, and I got all my goodies here. I'm actually gonna be wearing the glasses as well. You want to come today? Uh, I got more stuff now. I, I need to go get a coffee because I am starving. That is absolutely everything. Look at it. It's sucky. The mirrors, everything. But this bed is beautiful. Look at that. And the couch is also stunning too. Look at it. Okay, time to go get a coffee. Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy with everything. I got a Starbucks coffee because I miss Moto. But I like the glasses so much. I think they're like, they're perfect. They're very Sergio. And I was actually looking at them. And I can believe I bought them. Um, but yeah, I'll go in and show you everything when I get home. Um, it's 12.15. So I should be probably home around 3 or 4 ish as I'm anticipating give or take and I'll be running all my other errands that I have to do like I said I have to go to Dino's and I have to get stuff cut for my vlog so get a new PO box so hopefully I can get everything done um, right now do a what's in my bag like but I am obsessed with it like uh, this is probably one of my one of my favorite bags out there like I just like how that vibes <laughs> yeah I got a new cafecito so I'm contento this is the order that I've been getting. My friend Michael gets this one, so I've just been copying him. Like I said, I'm crazy. I'm wearing out the glasses that I just bought. I'm so happy that I got two people off my Christmas list now. I got my mom off my Christmas list, my brother. I just need my dog, my dad, and then maybe like four or five other people. And then like a couple like little uh, cards and stuff like that. So. I will probably say that I'm about 50% done Christmas shopping because at the end of the day, siempre tardo and I, just, I buy things everything last minute. So I'm glad that this year I'm super prepared with everything. So this is going to be lunch. I got a little bowl. What I like is not, it's not too big, it's not too small. What did you get? I got the Mother Earth bowl. Camila, are you excited to eat your mac and cheese? Kinda. <laughs> She's like, don't show the camera on my face. And so yeah, I'm gonna have a lunch. I would thought more when I saw the super de volada because I'm starving. Oh my god, this avocado looks so good. Mm -hmm. So now we're here at Bird Bakery here in Highland Park. I will be coming to Dino's later. I took a outfit picture right now, which I'm gonna be posting. I'm home now, so I went to last call, I bought some great goodies, I'll show you that in a second. And then I had lunch with my friend Paulette, and then um, cupcakes from the Bird Bakery in Highland Park. I think I should have brought the Chanel bag with me already to get it fixed. But I don't like to leave expensive things in my car, no matter if it's in the trunk, I just always feel like i just rather be safe than sorry, so um, it's about to be 3 o'clock, they close at 5, so I'm about to take that right now. I just want to come here and clean up because I did have I have a bunch of boxes and stuff to kind of get ready. I'd want to clean up a little bit, but I've been using this bag. I have been so in love with it, the Eleanor. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I waited so long to get this bag, and now that I have it in my collection, I just, I just love it, guys. Like, I feel some type of way about this bag. I love the strap. I like that you can make it to a crossbody, a shoulder. I just love it, and I like the opening of it. And on the inside, it has the Camely color. So I'll show you what I have on the inside. I have my card case. This is my Toy Bird to Walker card case. I like this one a lot. I have a portable charger. I have this Honest Beauty hand sanitizer. I've been liking more the spray-ons than the actual um, gel. And I like this one because it's super skinny and it fits in a lot of my handbags. I have AirPods. I have my Chanel hand cream. And then I also have um, 
a Chanel lip balm. And then I also have the face mask, which is right here. And so basically I have a little compartment right here, a full opening of the main opening. And then back here, I have a zipper compartment. Normally I just put everything here in the middle, um, but I have been really enjoying the bag. Um, it has a lot of structure. I think this is a super elevated Tory Burch handbag. And yeah, so I ended up getting this one and I love it so much. Uh, let me show you the other one that I got, which is right here. I haven't really played with it as much. So this is the McGraw, and this one is the baby size. This one has a strap on it. I feel like the way I'm gonna be wearing the baby McGraw is going to be this way. So, oh my God, that que le quita, is that it has, even on the bigger one, you can actually put, you can actually give the bag a different look, and you can make it like this. So I definitely prefer the look of the bag like this. Like, I think it looks more cuter. And I think I like the aesthetically than how it is more open. Because I feel like it gives it more of a regular bucket bag. And I just like how more secure. And I like just the way the look of it. So I will be using it like this. It comes with a strap. I most likely will not be using it with a strap. I definitely prefer it like this. This is Kigari from Last Call. My, close, uh, my closest amigas. She always helps me out and she's absolutely the best person and she's so patient with me. Her name is Leo. She works at the Great Vibe by Neiman Marcus. So if you are looking for somebody, um, I would ask for Leo next time you're there. And she will just be really nice and she'll take care of you. And so every time I see her, she's always muy nice. She like helps me out and she gives me like honest advice of things that I should buy or not buy. So I like going with her. Um, I just like chatting up with her. And so I ended up getting three things. So I got these Alexander McQueen sneakers. I think I talked about how I wouldn't really recommend these shoes um, for my style. Giving these as a Christmas gift to my brother. Um, he is 18. So these are retail for $5.60. They were $2.24. They just look like they just need a little magic eraser on them. But están bien bonitas. And I think he likes these type of shoes. And I feel like he would be. He, I cannot wait to give them to him. I actually kind of want to give them to him now and be like, here, happy Christmas, Merry Christmas. But I think I'm just going to wrap them up and then I'll just probably leave them at my parents' house. And then once it's Christmas, you can unbox them. But I know we're the same shoe size and I know he's going to love these so much. So now I have my brother off my wish list. I got him those Alexander McQueen sneakers. Um, she approves of them. She really likes them. But um, yeah, I would ask for her next time you're at last call because she'll take care of you. Love that Sergio sent you. And then I bought two glasses. So those are for my brother. He doesn't watch my YouTube videos. He knows that I do YouTube, but he doesn't, he's not really into that type of stuff. So I know he won't watch this video. He won't know what I bought him, but I did get those. And then I ended up getting, so I was wearing these Celine glasses, but I ended up getting these Tom Ford. So I saw these ones um, before and they just came out about a month ago. And I saw them there and they ended up being about like a hundred and ten dollars and i they're brand new they're 445 they're polarized and i just love me a good round i love me a good tom ford i lost my ray-ban so i just miss so i'm gonna be getting a lot of wear on these ones so i ended up having them in my collection they came with the case and everything but like i said i wore them out and then i got these pair of celines and these ones are for a christmas gift for one of my friends i have a lot of friends so i feel like i can talk about it um, pero si tienen good glasses. So for me, the reason why I got these ones is because Celine's are perfect gifts to get. Um, just because they're very classic. I'll try them on, but I'm not going to obviously wear them out. These are for one of the ladies in my life. She's going to love them so much. I already know it. But these are just some classic Celine glasses that you can never go wrong with. One of the replenishment styles. And so I got these. And yeah, I got the shoes for my brother. I got these for one of my friends. I got these ones for myself. I ended up paying about $4.90 for everything. I know that's a lot of money, but I was expecting to buy my brother a David Yerman necklace and um, charm, like the like the pendant and the necklace, and that was going to be like 5 So I ended up getting him something, one of my friends something, and I got something for myself. And considering these ones are $500 by itself, says like I got these two items for free. So I think I did pretty good. I decided when I bought it. Right now, I'm going to be cleaning up a little bit, kind of getting my things situated. I'm gonna um, go to Dino's, drop off the bag, see what happens early, because I wanna wake up early tomorrow. And then I just would like to get a good day on my start, but I did do a lot of things today, even though a lot of it was pretty quote unquote boring because it's like a lot of, like I said, a lot of things behind the scenes. It, today's not really like a glamorous day. It's just, like I said, it's a lot of like work behind the scenes. I think I wanna start a TikTok. 
I haven't decided yet. Definitely let me know if you would support my TikTok. Um, I probably post like maybe two or three videos a week. But yeah, I have to get that and then I have to get my vlog sales stuff ready today. And I have to make like maybe two phone calls. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm talking a lot. And I'll see you guys at Highland Park. And I'll tell you, I will I'll show you what's wrong with the Chanel bag before I go. And then we'll go from there. So I'll talk to you guys in a few. So before I go to Dino's, this is what I mean. I don't know if you guys can see those little lines. I don't know when it got there. But I definitely want them to kind of repaint it. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this to Dino's. And then I'm going to go ahead and maybe pop into Nordstrom Rack because I have a return to do. Um, but yeah, I was playing with some outfits. This one could be a blazer from Rent the Runway. It's going to look so cute tomorrow. So I'm going to wear this with the pant. And I'm going to wear this handbag with the hat and with the Tom Ford glasses that I bought. So I always like to experiment with outfits. But I do really like this one. But let me go ahead and go to Dino's because... So she took the bag to the back. So let's see what she can do. But so far, so far. To Dino's, and she fixed it up, guys. You know, I thought I was gonna have to like leave it there, wait for it to get repaired. I think it le puso like pintura, and it literally looks brand new. Like, like, las rayas ya no están ahí. Like, I'm looking at the bag, and the little lines that were here aren't even there anymore so now i feel like i could wear the bag great again oh my god y no me cobro nada the señora was so nice me está hablando español me dijo que oh no te preocupes so i have some shoes i have to get resold i was gonna go somewhere else but i'm gonna come here again i think dino's has earned my my hard-earned money oh my god that that was really sweet of her Oh my god, <laughs> quiero llorar. That was like really nice. And I thought you up, like I thought I was gonna spend like two hundred dollars or just ha not have the bag with me for like a while. Irigo reglo. Oh my god, she fixed my Chanel bag, and it was like that for a little while. Yeah. Oh, I'm so lo reglo mi bebe Chanel. I can't believe it's about to be two years with her. I'm gonna put her in my trunk. Yeah, no se le nota even in los fotos. No se le nota nada de los rayas. So I'm gonna put her in my trunk, um, just in case if anything happens, because nunca you can never be too sure. So I'm gonna put this in my trunk. Oh, I'm so happy. Y luego voy a poner. Okay, so I'll see you guys at um, Norton Rock. But that was oh my god, me puse mi contento. That really made my day. And it's not even about that she didn't charge me. It's just she was so nice to me. Oh my god, so they just got a bunch of peachy, but the prices are still a little steep. So I just got done filming a couple of videos. So I did a little video on my Tory Burch bags that I got. I have my entire ring lights in front of me. Uh, I'm still obsessed with this bag. Um, so I did that one, and then I did one for Marc Jacobs, and then I'm doing a Tory Burch collection and a... I'm doing a Troy Birch and a Chanel collection. I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock those videos out today. If not, I'll probably end up doing the Troy Birch video collection video, and then I'll probably end up doing some other videos tomorrow, but um, right now I'm just spending my time just kind of filming videos and taking care of business. I did take like a little bit of a 30 minute nap, but I think what it looks like after I took it to Dino. So it had those lines, but as you can see, after all the ring lights, it literally looks brand new, like sa preciosa. So, um, shout out to the girl that helped me out. She was super nice. She was, um, she, me estaba hablando muy bien. It's just one of those days, you know, it may not be the most glamorous where I do like a bunch of stuff, but what it is and keep things up. Love store, it was $3. I like that it has the three buttons. I also bought another one and start working on some other videos. So, I'll talk to you guys in a few. So, I'm here with Cassie. We are having a little bit of pizza right now. We have Sprite water. And we're here on Lower Greenville. Got a Nuna pizza uh, to end the night. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do a little bit of work. And then we're gonna end up calling it a night. But um, yeah, we're gonna go with the pizza aquí. Yum, 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 yum. 
Okay guys, so that is a day in my life. As your juice secret, I put on a hoodie right now. Um, I'm gonna be doing some editing. Uh, nothing too exciting. <laughs> I have something here from my pizza. I'm about to wash my face and shower and get ready for the night. But I am gonna end the video here. Hope you guys like this little day in my life. I know it's kind of weird and all over the place. A uh, day in my life is always different. There's always different things to do. Like I said, today was more kind of an admin, more background. It wasn't, like I said, one of the most glamorous days, but this is reality. This is how I do like all of my videos. A lot of it is just in front of a screen, editing, putting links, uh, planning things, and you know, just taking care of like a lot of things to get done. So hope you guys like this. Let me know if you want to see a part two. Maybe in six months, everything could change and it could be like a lot different, but um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this Sergio Secret day in my life. And I'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Bye guys, take with them mucho and everything will be linked down below as well. Los quiero.